the new album that I won't release the title of yet until it's halfway done. And then, most importantly, what'll be out as soon as everything is back to normal in this quarantine and all this stuff is up with, I have a new documentary coming out called Off Comes the Mask. Again, let me repeat that. <laughs> Off Comes the Mask. Off Comes the Mask. <laughs> and that's the, the untold story of Fam Records, which was a big hip-hop label here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I was actually a part of that label when it, when it was started and when it shut down. But it's a big story that comes behind that label as far as what happened, the amount of money that was made, why did this artist do this, what happened with the record, label, uh, the record deal situation that was on the table. It's a lot of questions that come with the off comes to mass scenario. And, and what, what's the name of the label? And, and what, what are a couple a couple of names of big artists? That the name of the label was uh, the name of the label was Fam Records. That was the name of the actual label right there. And the actual logo for the record label was the Ski Mask. That was the logo for the record label. So that's why I'm naming this Off Comes to Mask because we're going to tell the story from the ends and out. Uh, some of the big artists on there are myself, my older pimp, the actual CEO and owner of the uh, label at the time went by the name of Charlotte Thugger, a uh, big fan of the Shark. Wes Wayne Rillis, OG Lardo, uh the Psychos. The these are all artists, local people. All local people. Yeah, we had a nice roster of artists here. A nice roster of artists. So we're going to cover everything that, that dealt with that label right there. And now, why, why you're you're putting this together because you think there's going to be an interest in it? Where where is the interest going to be in, in this uh, in this uh, story? But no, actually, I don't who think cares, I know. I, I don't think I know. Yeah, it's a big difference. I know. And now, who cares? Because. The city, the city of Chattanooga cares. The whole city of Chattanooga cares about this, but this was the label that represented Chattanooga at one point in time. You no, know, when you thought of Chattanooga. In the world. Yeah, yeah. In the music world. Yeah, yeah, in the music world, yeah. When you thought of Chattanooga hip hop, this is what you thought of right here. This is what you thought of right here. And there was a lot of albums that were sold, a lot of money that was made, a lot of things that were accomplished, uh, you know, a lot of recognition came behind this, and then out of the blue, it was shut down because of activity that was going on in the street. But people never got to see the full story about what actually went on with the label. From when 90, did it close? 2003. From 97 to 2003. So, so 17 this, years ago. Yes, wow. Right, right. And it's time to tell that story now. It's time to tell that story. Well, this is David Tillis. If you'd like to get on the show today with a, a comment or a question, or if you have anything at all to add, or if you want to change the subject, feel free. The number is 7109.